everybody, this is Corey, and my, I'm doing my fourth YouTube video for my YouTube channel. It is 3.30 in the morning, it's September 11, 2008. It's the anniversary of 9-11, a day that none of us will forget. A day where many innocent lives were lost. Because some animals decided they were going to kill in the name of their sick, twisted religion. And they said they were doing it for God. The true God is wanting that none would perish. The true God wants no one to hurt, wants no one to be killed or attacked. The true God, our Creator, again, is willing for none to perish. I was encouraged that day by people who found faith in God and seek him for comfort and I was also encouraged at how our nation became united as one but how disappointed I was when we got back to our usual business of backstabbing, fighting, hating, blaming, he did that. It was his fault or her fault. They should have did that. They should have done that or this. None of this would have happened. Why can't our nation be united in all times? Not just bad times, but also united in the good times as well. That's what I like to know, but that's another conversation. The reason for my video today is to hopefully bring encouragement to those of you who lost someone back then on that tragic day. I want to encourage you, as you go through this day, to remember the good times you had with that person. Don't dwell on the fact that you no longer have them in your life. Hold on to your memories. But I also want to encourage you to certainly, and number one, seek God for comfort. Bless God in all things. It says in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 6 to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him, not you, not the next celebrity, not the next presidential candidate, not your best friend, not this next rock star. No, it says acknowledge Him in all things and He will make your path straight. All you need to do is trust in God. We need to listen to this song. Just the very first part of it. And it'll hopefully get my point across. I'll turn it on, get the music going, and I'll sing along so you can hear it if you don't. You should be able to hear it. And then I'll put it in the background and I'll talk to you. Take a listen.
bless the Lord at all times. His praise will always be in my mouth, my soul will boast in the Lord. The righteous will hear and be the Lord at all times. His praise will always be in my mouth. My soul will boast in the Lord. The righteous will hear and be glad. song is saying is I will bless the Lord at all times because if as I bless the Lord I will see that everything will be okay I will be glad because when I give my heart to God and I put my life in his control I am made righteous in him and being righteous in Christ means I will be glad I just need to remember what Proverbs says about trusting in the Lord. And I also need to remember what Romans 8.28 says. It says, All things work together for the good to them that love the Lord and are called according to His plan. So as long as you love the Lord, everything will work out. Maybe not in your time. Maybe not when you want it to. But it will work out when you need it to. But I want to encourage you to tonight, or this morning, whatever, to reach out to God. And as you go through this day, and remember your, your loved one, you live through this day today, I want you to rely on, if you have friends in your family that are, you're close to, rely on them, but first and foremost, rely on Christ to bring you through, and He will bring you the peace that you are searching for. If you but the only way that he will bring you the peace is if you allow him to. The way that you can allow him to is by saying, God, take control. Jesus, I need your peace. Jesus, I need your mercy. I need your comfort right now. And he will be more than happy to give that to you. If you do not allow him to bring you the peace, you'll never find that peace that you find, that, that, that you're searching for. Because see, what happens is, while you're in pain, you're not going to get that peace. When there's pain, there's suffering. When there's suffering, there's heartache. When there's heartache, there's people willing to give up. But God doesn't want you to give up. He wants you to know that He is there for you. He wants you to know that He loves you. All He wants you to do is love Him in return. And all he wants you to do is trust in him and seek him for your needs. As long as you do that, you have a pretty good life. So God bless you at this time and in all things. And I'll talk to you soon.